In this video, we're going to look at solving another system by graphing. We're going to solve 6x minus 3y equals negative 9, and 2x plus 2y equals negative 6. The problem with graphing these equations right now is they're not in the correct form. They're not in intercept form. So we're going to have to do some work to put them in intercept form. Let me move this second equation out of the way. And to put this first equation in intercept form, we want to get the y alone, so we need to subtract the 6x from both sides. This gives us negative 3y equals negative 6x minus 9, and then divide both sides by negative 3. Recall when we divide, we make sure we divide every single term by the negative 3, giving us y equals 2x plus 3. If we keep in mind that y equals mx plus b, we can see b, the y-intercept on this first line, is 3, and m, the slope on this line, is 2. If we make it a fraction, 2 over 1. So we're going to start our graph at 3, and then we will rise 2 and run 1. Rise 2, run 1, we can keep going, making a bunch of dots. We can go the other direction also on this graph, just filling the graph with points. And then finally, we can connect the dots. And this is the graph of 6x minus 3y equals negative 9, a picture of all the solutions that work in the first equation. We are looking for the pair of numbers that works not only in the first equation, but also in the second equation. So let's take a look at that. Again, we need to put this one in the correct form, the intercept form, by getting the y alone. 2x plus 2y is negative 6. We subtract 2x off of both sides. This gives us 2y equals negative 2x minus 6. Finally, dividing each term by 2 gives us y equals negative x minus 3. Remembering that y equals mx plus b, we can see our b, or y-intercept from this line, is negative 3. And m, the slope from this line, is negative... If there's no number written, we assume there's a 1, negative 1 over 1. So we'll start at that y-intercept of negative 3. And then we'll use our slope of rising negative 1 and running negative 1. Rise negative 1, run negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1. And we get all these points going backwards, reversing the process. We get a whole bunch of other points. And when we connect the dots, we get this green line representing all the solutions that work in the second equation, 2x plus 2y equals negative 6. Again, what we're looking for is the point of intersection, the point that works on both the blue line and the green line, because this is the point that works in both equations. Counting that point, left 2, down 1, it's at the point negative 2, comma 1, telling us that negative 2, 1, when x is negative 2 and y is 1, this is the only combination of numbers that will be true in both the first equation and the second equation. We have our solution.